हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 11 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर ओके सो हियर इन सम नंबर 11 फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द पैराबोलस विथ वर्टिसेस at the origin okay vertices at the origin remember that so that means here origin means you know that 0 0 and satisfying the following condition so here the number one the first condition where the focus focus is at the point minus 4 0 okay so suppose this one is the axis you know that it's y this one x it's y dash and this one x dash so as here the focus is minus 4 0 suppose this one is the minus 4 0 focus then the parabola will be here this is the vertex okay so here the vertex equal to at the point 0 0 and here the focus minus 4 0 now you have to find out the equation clear so here the required equation will be y square equal to minus 4 a x where a equal to here 4 okay so as here a equal to 4 so y square equal to minus 4 into 4 x that means minus 16x okay so y square equal to minus 16x that is your answer now next one for next condition number two here directories y minus 2 that one equal to 0 okay so here the directories is y minus 2 equal to 0 again vertex in the parabola the vertex of the parabola will be on 0 0 that means on the origin okay so here y equal to 2 so that means here the straw drive diagram here so this is a parabola this one is the vertex okay it's y minus 2 equal to 0 here sorry this one the direct is not the vertex this one here the vertex it's 0 0 clear so the axis of the parabola be y axis remember that okay the axis of the parabola be y axis so let the directories met at y axis at the point 0 comma 2 because here y equal to 2 so 0 comma 2 then the required equation will be x square equal to minus 4 a y and here a equal to 2 so that means here minus 8 y so x square equal to minus 8 y that is your required equation okay now the third condition in third condition passing through 2 comma 3 and axis of the parabola along x axis okay so here passing through 2 comma 3 and the required equation will be here y square equal to 4 a x so that means here uh, 3 square equal to 4 into a into 2 because passing through 2 comma 3 so 9 by 8 that one equal to here a so if a equal to 9 by 8 then the required equation will be 4 into 9 by 8 x so that means here y square equal to 9 by 2 x that is your equation now next one sum number 12 in sum number 12 find the equation of the parabola whose vertex is at the point 3 comma minus 2 and focus is at 6 comma 2 so here is the diagram okay so here f means focus a is the vertex okay and this one is the axis of the parabola so here the given vertex is 3 comma minus 2 and the focus is 6 comma 2 then the line joining a and f okay this one here a and this one here f the line joining a and f is the axis of the parabola is it clear okay now let the axis of the parabola meet the directories of the parabola at the point z okay because this one is the directories so axis and the directories meet at the point j now let z be alpha and beta the coordinate of z that is alpha comma beta since 4 uh, here 3 and minus 2 so 3 and minus 2 is the midpoint of zf it's clear that means here a this one a is the midpoint of jf so it's very easy to find out the coordinate of z that means here alpha plus 6 by 2 that one equal to here 3 then beta and here uh, it's 2 so beta plus 2 and by 2 that one equal to here minus 2 
so from here alpha equal to 0 and here beta equal to minus 4 and then again minus 2 so that means here minus 6 okay so that means here the coordinate of z that is 0 comma minus 6 so now you have to find out slope of the axis so here the slope of axis of parabola that one equal to here 2 plus 2 and this one here 6 minus 3 that one equal to 4 by 3 is it clear now the directories is a line perpendicular to the axis okay and passing through the point here 0 comma minus 6 okay i repeat the directories is a line perpendicular to the axis and also passing through the point 0 comma minus 6 so hence using this one point of equation of the directories through 0 comma minus 6 you can easily find out so here the directories equal to y plus 6 then here minus 3 by 4 and then here x minus 0 so that means here uh, this one here 4x 4x sorry it's 3x not 4x very sorry so this one here 4y plus 24 then minus 3x that means here 3x plus 4y plus 24 that one equal to 0 just put it equation number 1 okay now let p x y be any point i repeat let p x y be any point on the parabola then here mod of mp okay mod of mp be the perpendicular distance from p mod of mp be the perpendicular distance from the p from the diagram okay to the directories then by definition of the parabola you know that f p mod of f p is equal to mod of m p so here mod of m p is equal to mod of f p clear so here you add the mod of 3 x plus 4 y plus 24 then divided by square of the coefficient so it's 9 and here 4 square that means 16 and that one equal to here root over x minus 6 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square clear now squaring both sides so here the upper one will be here 3x plus 4y plus 24 whole square this one here 25 that one equal to x minus 6 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square now solving both sides and you will get the required equation here the equation 16x square 9y square minus 24xy okay then here minus 4 4 this is triple 4 4 4 x minus 2 9 2 y plus 4 2 4 that one equal to 0 i hope you can calculate this equation okay so now next one sum number 13 sum number 13 is as same as sum number 12 so i hope you can solve it now let's move on to sum number 14 here in sum number 14 the given that the vertex vertex here 6 comma minus 3 and here the directories 3x minus 5y plus 1 that one equal to 0 find the focus and the equation of the parabola okay so as here 3x minus 5y plus 1 this one is the directories then the equation the equation of the axis will be uh, here write down 5x so 5x plus 3y plus k equal to 0 because you know that directories is perpendicular to the what to the axis so this is equation number 2 and put it equation number 1 now this equation number 2 passing through the point 6 comma 3 so definitely 5 into 6 so 30 then here 3 into minus 3 so minus 9 plus k equal to 0 that means here k equal to minus 21 so the equation 2 will be here 5x 3y minus 21 that one equal to 0 put it equation number 3 okay so let the axis and the directories of the parabola intersect at the point z okay so that means here the focus will be the midpoint okay the sorry the vertex will be the midpoint of this one so here you can write down this one by solving this equation number 1 and 2 okay equation number 1 and 2 you yeah, have solve this equation sorry 1 and 3 solve 1 and 3 and then you will get the value of x and y first you have to solve this equation equation number 1 and here equation number 3 so here value of x equal to 3 and value of y equal to 2 
that means the coordinate of the point z that one here 3 comma 2 so if 3 comma 2 is the coordinate of the point z then let hk be the focus of the parabola okay and you know that vertex is the midpoint of z and the focus so here h plus 3 divided by 2 that one equal to 6 and next one k plus 2 by 2 that one equal to minus 3 so from here uh, h equal to 9 and here k equal to minus 8 that means your answer focus focus equal to here 9 comma minus 8 okay and again same formula mod of pm that one equal to mod of pf so just write down here uh, root over root over of x minus 9 whole square plus y plus 8 whole square that one equal to within mod 3x minus 5y plus 1 divided by root over it's 9 and then here 5 square means 25 okay so the squaring both side so 34 will be here next x minus 9 whole square plus y plus 8 whole square that one equal to here 3x minus 5y plus 1 whole square now solve this one and you will get your equation it's 25 25x square plus 9y square plus 30xy minus 618x 554y then here 4929 that one equal to 0 this is your required equation okay is it clear now next sum number 15 in sum number 15, show that the equation y square plus 6y minus 2x plus 5 equal to 0 represent a parabola. Find its vertex, focus, length of the lattice rectum, equation of axis and directories. Okay. So, y square plus 6y minus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. Clear? So, just write down here y square plus 6y then plus 9 then here minus 2x plus 5 okay and again here minus 9 that one equal to 0 you have to adjust this equation so this one will be here y plus 3 whole square okay and here it will be 2x then 5 minus 9 it's minus 4 so definitely here plus 4 so 2 common then x plus 2 okay now shifting the origin of the point okay shifting the origin to the point minus 2 minus 3 and the new axis remaining parallel to the original axis i repeat shifting the origin to the point minus 2 minus 3 the new axis remaining parallel to the original axis so hence here put x plus 2 as capital x and y plus 3 as capital y so just this one equation number 2 and this one here equation number 1. Now equation number 2 becomes capital Y square equal to 2X. Okay. Because X plus 2 here capital X and Y plus 3 capital Y. Now put it equation number 3. Okay. So now comparing equation number 3 with Y square equal to 4AX. So you know that here 4A equal to 4A equal to 2. That means here a equal to half clear and the vertex is given by y equal to 0 x equal to 0 that means here y plus 3 equal to 0 that imply y equal to minus 3 x plus 2 equal to 0 that imply x equal to minus 2 so the vertex of the given parabola minus 2 minus 3 okay that is your first answer and the focus here the focus focus here x x equal to a y equal to 0 that means here x plus 2 capital x equal to a so x plus 2 is the value of capital x and a equal to half so that means here a x equal to minus 3 by 2 and here capital y means y plus 3 that one equal to 0 so y equal to minus 3 so here your focus minus 3 by 2 comma minus 3 Okay, your second answer. Now, next one, lattice rectum. Lattice rectum means 4A. 
So 4a equal to 2, your third answer. And now the fourth one, you have to find out the equation of axis and directrix. So here the equation of the axis is capital Y equal to 0. That means Y plus 3 equal to 0. That is the equation of axis. And now the equation of the directrix of the parabola will be capital X equal to minus A. That means here X plus 2, that one equal to here minus half. So from that X equal to minus 5 by 2. So 2X plus 5, that one equal to 0. Okay. So here your first answer, vertex. Second answer here, focus. Third one, lattice rectum. Fourth one here, axis. And the fifth one, directrix. Okay, now the last one, some number 16. So guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. Show that the following equation represent parabolas. Find their vertices, focus, directories, axis. I mean, as same as some number 15. Okay, so here I'm going to solve only one problem. Then you can uh, try the, to solve the other's problem. If anything, any problem, please contact us in Telegram. The link of the Telegram in the description box. So here the fourth one. I'm going to solve the fourth one. X square plus 2Y minus 3X plus 5 equal to 0. Okay. X square plus 2Y minus 3 plus equal to 0. So first write down here X square. Then minus 3X plus 9 by 4 plus 2Y plus 5 minus 9 by 4. You have to make a square form. So it will be here x minus 3 by 2 whole square plus 2y plus 11 by 4 that one equal to 0. So x minus 3 by 2 whole square minus 2 then y plus 11 by 8. Put it equation number 1. Now shifting the origin to the point 3 by 2 and minus 11 by here 8. Okay. And the axis remaining to parallel to the origin, you know that. So here capital X. Okay. Capital X equal to X plus 3 by 2 and here Y. So sorry, capital X will be X minus 3 by 2, not X plus. So here X minus 3 by 2. And capital Y equal to here Y plus 11 by 8. So comparing this given equation, that means equation number 1, X square equal to minus 2Y. So here 4A equal to minus, forget to 2, not minus 2. 4A equal to 2. That means again here A equal to half. So the equation represent the downwards parabola and the vertex is here capital X equal to 0, capital Y equal to 0. That means x minus 3 by 2 equal to 0. So x equal to 3 by 2. And here y plus 11 by 8 equal to 0. So y equal to minus 11 by 8. So here vertex equal to 3 by 2 comma minus 11 by 8. That is your first answer. And you can also find out the focus. The focus will be here 3 by 2 and here minus 15 by 8. That is the focus. Okay, because x equal to 0, capital X equal to 0 and y equal to minus a, where a equal to half. So, I hope you can easily find out the focus. This one focus, this one vertex. Clear? Now, the equation of the directrix will be here y equal to a. So, you know that y means here y plus 11 by 8 and a equal to half. So, solve this equation, you will get 8y plus 7 equal to 0. Okay? And now the last one, the directrix, sorry, the equation of the axis. This one is the directrix. Now first, last one here, axis. So here equation of the axis, capital X equal to 0. That means X minus 3 by 2 equal to 0. So 2X minus 3, that one equal to 0. This one is the axis of the parabola.